Visual odometry is a problem in computer vision, where the goal is to estimate the camera's motion in real time sequentially. In other words, as the camera moves, estimate its change of position and orientation. Visual odometry has been recently added to Boosaby, and what you're seeing here uses a stereo camera. Perhaps it's easiest to understand the motion estimate while in the 3D view. The rectangles you see being drawn here are being drawn in front of the camera. The path they lay out, um, as you can see, also looks um, like a reasonable approximation of what you would expect the camera to be doing based on this video. Once the camera moves um, past its initial position, we can get an idea of how accurate it is. So let's change the view. So on the top right, you can see where the camera initially thought it was, and you can see the final position where it thinks it is. You can see that are a bit off. Looking at it from the side, you can see the vertical air, and then from up above, you can see that the orientation is also a bit off. This is what you expect from any sort of odometry algorithm. The way odometry works is that air will build up gradually over time. All that you can do is hope that you can create an algorithm that reduces the rate at which air increases. Now I'll explain the, um, all the other features you see here. So these uh, dots you see in the image are actually point features that it selects inside the video feed. It uses these point features to estimate the camera's motion. The more red a point is, the closer it thinks the, um, the object is and the more yellow, the farther away it thinks it is. The green dots you see constantly are new features being added. On the left is information about the tracking. So um, here is the number of tracks. Number of inliners shows you how many features were used to estimate the camera motion, and then this is number of faults that have occurred. Frames per second are being shown here, and this does not include um, the video input output. XYZ is the estimated um, 3D coordinate, while here shows the estimated bearing and estimated tilt. Um, the integral number here shows how far it thinks it's traveled in total, while the origin shows you how far away from the initial position it thinks it is. Let's look at smaller videos. Here's one in a very different environment outside. Um, the camera is moving downhill and then it'll take a right hand turn and move towards this object and do a little loop around it. Let's look at it from a top view. And speed up the video a bit. So that looks pretty reasonable. Now let's go to a video taken in an urban environment. In this environment, you have to deal with more lighting conditions, or at least in this video. You can still get in a more of a forced environment, too. And you can see that the camera is able to handle it as it moves, and it's still able to track all the features. And that looks about what you expect the path to be again. So in summary, I've shown you the current capabilities of Boof CV for visual odometry. More work is still being done in this area, and um, the algorithm you've seen has been verified using at least one external data set, and it performed fairly well on that. So that's it for now.